Oh, hello, hello, hello. Just hang on, we're trying to set this up now. Sorry about this. It's all fingers and thumbs. Oh, my legs, we're not on the head. Stand up, sit down, keep moving. I don't know what I'm bloody doing here. Hang on, hang on. Bear with me. If we press buttons, I'm sorry. Right, hang on. Oh, how do you turn this round, Mark? Jesus! Right. Oops. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I just swore. Sorry. I was trying to get it moved round. I do apologise if I've offended anybody. Good morning, everybody. Well, it's a bit difficult trying to sit like this. Um, I've got lots to do. I'm trying to set it up everywhere and I'm, I'm not going to be able to. Can't be bothered anyway. So, here we go, here we go, here we go. How are you all? Ablution's done. Tick. Um, bit of tutty on. Maybe, maybe not. I got my hair down today because I can't be bothered. I just put it in a big lump on my head and then it comes out like this. But it looks a bit like a bloody wig today. Oh well. Right, okay, so... Oh, I don't know what... Right, so how are we doing? Let's go to the top. Julie, Natalie, Kaz, Sue, Dawn, Fran, Gail, Andrea, Bev, Jane, Carol, Ruth, Sue, Natalie... Linda, Eva, Sabrina, Jane, Kaz, Kaf, Sue Barnes, Zara, Eva, Marcia, Sue Bolton, Sue Davis, Mandy Farr, Natalie, Sue, Blowy Neck, Wendy. <sighs> We've got some more. Chris, hey, Chris, working from home again. Hello, Caroline. Oh, Caroline, my love. Hi, June. Wendy, Nicola, you got it. Sue Carrier, Linda Series, Louise, great name, that. Marcia, you're dressed. Nice one. Marlene, lovely to see you. Um, I did have my Marlene paints for using. I've got to do some DT stuff for Friday and I'm using my Marlene paints on them. Um, we've got the studio light fantasy range, but I love your little sets of paints. Hang on, I'll see if I can get them. Hang on. I'm nearly there, hang on. I've hid him. I've hid him. I don't know where I've hid him. I've hid him somewhere. I'll get him in a minute. Anyway, so today, how the devil are we? How the devil are we? Oh, we've got some more people now. I'm getting to 100. True Dare, Doreen, Linda. Um. I have got my pet. Do you know what? I keep my paints that safe. They're here somewhere. They're on this big box here. Right, okay. So, I've got um, a little bit of work I'm going to do today because I keep getting asked over and over and over again. Not, I'm, not, I'm not moaning. But I keep getting asked. Like, people say to me, colour. I can't use colour. And I'm like, but Colour's your best friend. If oh, Colour's your best friend. Um, so don't worry if you can't, um, at the moment, get to grips with it, but it's really easy. So the first thing you need to do is think about the colours you're using. So um, if anyone goes back to some of the stuff I did with, Kate Crane does a great one as well. Um, I think lots of people do. Um... Hi Kay, uh, Julia, Linda, Doreen, um, a lot of people use, I forgot what I was going to bloody say then, because I'm trying to do 20 things at once, a lot of people use paint and they're a bit scared of him, but what, as soon as you realise that paint's a bit like um, clothing, once you get comfortable with your foundation stuff, then everything else looks okay on top. So if you're actually, um, I don't need them on yet. So if you're actually sort of not happy with your your foundation stuff 
anything you put on it is just not going to look good it's just going to accentuate i hate this bloody picture it's doing the edit um so that's what i mean by paper so the first things we need to talk about today are the paper you're going to use so i've got some really rubbish paper here this is not a brand i'm not no that this is a really this is just my little dotty book in here um i write in it i draw in it but the paper is just only for me it's only worth drawing on it really is hi sheila francis karen Oh, we're getting up there, 150 now or whatever it says, 120 plus 35. Hi, Cheryl, Tina. So this is everyday stuff, not great to work on. This is a watercolour pad, okay? I'm not using any brands today like that, but this is not the top range, but it's got what we call the twos. Then I've got my journal which i adore all these journals from studio like i adore them and i'm not just saying that because i don't have to say it um and these papers marlene's journal don't adore it and it just fits in with the color theme for marlene's as well so the idea of color don't be scared of color color is your best friend but as long as you know how to use it now not to use it uh Hi Julie. Oh yeah, you do as well, forget. I've got to say hello to Diane Denton. Um, she's got pneumonia at the moment. So uh, she says that I annoy her daily um, and to keep up the good work. Right, so what we're going to do is get straight to colours. So what I asked you to do was to get three colours, primaries, so your yellow, blue and your red, and then some paper and card. So it's up to you what you got, but my selection is i'm going to give you a minute i'm going to give you a minute i've got watercolors acrylics so i'll just show you what i mean these are by janina got the watercolors i've got my golden acrylics i have got my amsterdam acrylics and i've got medina wakeley acrylics as well I did have my dye but dilutions, but I haven't got all colours. So, um, okay, so you need yellow, red and blue. Now, within that, you've got different blues. So, what do I mean by different blues? Well, you've got different blues, okay? You've got different reds and you've got different yellows. Okay, so you will get different colours according to that. So, for instance, if you get um, your printer, you'll see the cyan, magenta, and I can't remember. What, do you know what the other colour is? Cyan, magenta, and something else. Um, and So they're the primer, prime colours for your printer. So they react differently. So if I was to say that that, that, and that, or maybe that, were more like the colours in your printer... You get different colours. You get totally different colours. So that's why when you see, you know, I think it's RGB, isn't it? And then you'll get SY, I think it's N for Naples. SY, yeah, N. So Scion, you know, and that. And um, so you get all those. That's what that means. Okay. So if you want to, you can go away and get them. I'll give you a bit of a minute. You need paintbrushes. You need card that I'm going to keep this. This is going to be my watercolour book. But every time I do a new piece of work, I will get a scrap of the paper that I'm using on and test this. Then it goes in my book and then I write on it. I'm not just because I'm making work for myself. It's because next time I use that paper, I can go and see what the paints look like rather than faffing about, okay? So it's great. It's like an arsenal. Now, if you've got the index roly-doly thing, you can put them on there. We did one years ago with Dyke. <coughs> Reevele, and we did the... Um... What did we do? With... Oh, we did, like, the Mini, mini Ranger. And the Mini Ranger was great because you could uh, do all the... I'm being moved. Uh, the Mini Ranger was great because you, you did all these little experiments and wrote on the back. Somebody's asking me. Yep, you've got your registration colours. 
or magenta, cyan and yellow, black. Yeah, black and white, and no, we don't count them because that's all colour and no colour. For me, anyway, we're not talking about that. That gets into tones, shades and, and tints. I um, don't want to do too much today. Um, skin tones. Emma did something yesterday on her Facebook Live using Jane Davenport, I think. And some other colours about skin tones. I know indigo blue do great skin tones. And the base of a skin tone, believe it or not, is white, yellow and red. Wouldn't believe it, would you? So, um, but also remember, cool tones would be lemons. Warm tones would be eggs. So, right. Okay. I'm going to move you down now. And we're going to have a look at what I'm waffling on about. And then well, you have to look at this ugly bloody mug, do you? Right, get my gigs on. Sorry, I am still here. I'm just waiting for things to catch up. So we've got something that, that's lagging. That's so lagging that. Right, anyway, so... I've got my page here and I've got my watercolours. Now the best thing you can ever buy is one of these. And this is a watercolour, uh, sorry, a colour wheel. Now I've got a pocket one. Um, oh, it's working all the way up there. Um, sorry, I'm just trying to move you forward a bit. This is doing me head in. Um, can you just move that camera straight? It's the camera. One minute. Sorry, 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 guys. Right, can you see? I'll move that up for you now. Right, okay, we're no way we are now. It's lagging behind, I don't see it for a bit. So, right, colour wheel. Now, colour wheel is invaluable because what you get is... Um, all the colours and in-betweens here and then on this side you, you get tones and tints now those of you that know about colour don't worry I am not going to bore you but those of you that know fine you can go and have a mess around with the paints and see what colours you get but this is sometimes even people who know about colour forget some things so this little pocket rocket as I call it this is this is my, the one that I use daily look at the state of this Right, so you can see why I had to get a new one. So basically, they have your primaries, yeah, primary blue, primary yellow, primary red. And in between, you get your next colours, which would be your secondaries, which are orange, right, which are orange, it's got me at it now, orange, green and purple. Okay, so I'm just looking at the screen, it's miles out, isn't it? Right, I'll just get on with it with us. Right, okay, so um, what we're going to do is start to mix the paint something similar to this. So we've got our first set of colours. So what you do need, and I forgot to mention, is you do need a white and a black. But we can go into that another time. So get yourself your first set of colours. Now, my advice is just choose three colours. Okay. Like that. So these are your primaries in your golden. Okay. Don't use... Unless you've got different brands and you've only got one of each, that's fine. Use them. So I'm going to, first of all, use my watercolour card or mixed media paper and then I'm going to put a piece in here but first of all I'll see what it looks like in here first okay so my advice is always 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 use a flat palette don't use one of these unless you're mixing a big load don't use one of these this is more watercolor for washes and stuff um, this isn't really for what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be mixing. Um, so you get your colours there. Okay. And then. 
what we're going to do is we're just going to put a little bit here. I'm going to put move it over there. A little bit here. So you need a little bit of yellow. Keep them well enough away. A little bit of blue and a little bit of red. Now these colours are all the primaries. So you'll see that that's what you're used to seeing. Are we all okay with that? Yeah? So what you do now is that we're not mixing and making fancy. I tend to do it first and then draw around it. Um, I'm going to put Now you can do it too, you can do it like circles where, which would probably be easy for you. Let me just draw it out for you. When you're doing a, a chart, so you just draw a simple circle and then you just draw that. Okay, that's if you want to do that. You don't have to. And then what you do is draw that. And then you divide it. That's if you want to do a colour chart, a pie chart. I'm not really into doing them, I like to mix straight. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is get yourself a piece of kitchen roll. Not too much water on there because water is, I've just cleaned my brush, water is the enemy of paint unless you want to dilute it. And we're just going to put a colour down there in a square. Quite like that yellow. So wash your brush. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to put square there of red okay and then a square there of blue okay now you can see I always do this as I go I get bigger I get bigger as so Make your squares like that. If you've got twinches or a punch, that's even better. So you've got your colours like that. And there's a reason I've left a space. Because we do the mixing in between. So primary yellow, primary red and primary blue. Okay? So these are your primaries. To mix a primary with a primary, we're going to get a secondary. And the secondary would lie here and then there as well. So we're going to get a primary... And then a secondary. And then the way I think of it is, it's not a, th a tertiary or a thirdary as we used to say in school. It's a tertiary. But if you think of tertiary as like tri or three. So that's the third set of colours. So primary school, secondary school and third. So we go, what we used to remember like that at school. So we paint our colours down. So once you've got those colours, we can see that's behaving quite nicely on there. So what I'm going to do... It's just going to do the same. You don't have to do this if you don't want. I'm going to do the same, but I'm going to do it on this paper now. Can you see how fast that's drying? So it's be pretty hard to mix on this. Not impossible, but hard to mix. It's a little bit too much water with that. And then a little bit of the blue. It doesn't matter if you can't mix them all in, in a line. It's not about that. It's about you learning colour. So these are your primaries. Now, primaries, you cannot make that colour. That is the colour. That is. From all from primaries come all other colours. Black is no colour and white is all colours. Okay? So we're not going to get into that because that's taught. I don't want to try and get into that. So what we're going to do is clean your brush and we're going to get a secondary so I'm going to mix a little bit of the yellow and a little bit of the red. Always start with the yellow. Always. I'm going to move this over a little bit. You see that? Always start with the yellow. I'm going to mix a little bit of yellow there. You might need some more yellow. I'm being a bit tight. And a weeny bit. Of red now I'm hardly putting any on that might be too much can you see how strong that red is so then I'm going to put that color there so that 
is my secondary colour because I've got the yellow and the red together and I'll put the rest here not behaving too badly this paper right now I could make a lighter yellow but I'll come to that later so now what I'm going to do is add the red and the blue now that blue is the darkest colour so you need very little of that so we get a little bit of the red tiny bit of the blue tiny bit more and we make this mauve colour now you'll see that that changes when we come to the other colours you'll see how much it changes I'm going to put a little bit on here now that to me is not a true purple but that's what we get all right so then what we do is we're going to add a little bit of the blue and I mean a tiny bit of the blue with the yellow and we'll get a green tiny bit more blue with it and we'll get a darker green So you can see now you've got the green as well. Right, but in between these colours, we've got other colours. So if I add like the purple and the red, uh, the blue and the red, if I was to add, show you now, let me get some more yellow clean. Always clean, keep your palette clean. So, get the yellow again. But this time, I'm going to add yellow on my page. And then, you can't do this with all papers, a weeny bit of red. Too much water. See how it, it doesn't really like, it's drying too fast to do that on there. So what you do is, oh you bugger. Oh what a bum that is. Anyway I'll do it again. Get a little bit of yellow. Tiny bit of red while it's wet. And we'll get a nice orange, a lighter orange. And then I'll add a little bit more yellow each time. So we can mix like yellow, yellow, and then I'll go back to my own yellow. So I'll go a little bit more into depth with that. So you go in, so you could do the whole range of colours. So that's that. So what I'm going to do now is that's the golden. So I would write here golden, and then I would put the names. I know what colours they are because I've got them coming at me ears. So the next set of colours I'm going to use. Uh, the other set of goldens which are the blue no sorry 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 I'm going to use um, these which are the primaries by Talons so I'm going to use the same again oh this breaks me out this breaks me out oh where's my page there we go right so next one we're going to get the next set of colours. What have I done with that page? It's a right mess now. Right, so put my colours out. So we've got the red. This one is primary, primary magenta. This is primary yellow. And we've got brilliant blue now I might use primary blue is that primary blue oh, primary uh, this one ultramarine blue right okay so we've got the same colors again let's see what happens with these colors so we'll put the yellow straight down a little bit of water now these have got a different consistency these are a bit thicker But don't get me wrong, all these paints join together. There's no hard and fast rules uh, about keeping them separate. You, you, you can use 
the mixer. So there's the red and there's the blue. Now hopefully you'll be able to see the consistency and how they work. Okay, so let's do a little bit of colour mixing. I'm not going to go through them all. I'm going to put a tiny bit of the yellow with the orange. And I'm going to get the orange colour. Then a tiny bit. Sorry, I've got a little bit of yellow on my brush, but it doesn't really matter. And then I'll get the yellow and the blue. So, pretty happy with that. Pretty happy with that. Now I'm going to try... You can see they're quite consistent, aren't they? Now I'm going to try... These are what more more like what we'd use in printers. So here I'm using. So that one was Amsterdam. Now we're going to use Dina Wakeley. We're going to use love these ocean or oh, lemon and magenta fuchsia sorry so you'll see the difference now when we mix these colors up you'll see the big difference i'm making sure my brush is clean because i don't want to contaminate so let's go straight with the let's go with the blue now you can see this is more of a greeny blue this is more of a turquoise This is more of a magenta. Oh, God, look at that. This is fuchsia. Beautiful colour. Beautiful colour. And then we go back to our yellow lemon. We've got this richness of colour. So you can see really good colours. Now, watch what happens when you mix these colours. So let's mix a bit of the yellow. Tiny bit. Need a bit more yellow. Oh, look at that, it's gorgeous. But the, the, the best colour I've ever found with mix not 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 just these, I mean any colour paint, is when I mix a cyan and the magenta together, we get this. Oh look at that. Yeah, I love that colour. And then if we mix the teal and the yellow, we get a lovely sort of green gold. Okay, so basics, all colour mixing. So what you would do after this is once you've done all these, then you'd mix a bit of a colour up on your mat and add it. So I would add... The orange with a bit more red and I'll show you what I mean I'll just pick one color and then I'll do the range for you so let's go for um, let's go for because it's I want something that's easily seen on screen so let's go for um, we'll go for the yellow and the red so got my yellow there and you're going to need more yellow, the, the, the more of the lighter colours than you are of the darker colours, simply because they overpower it to e a lot easier, a lot easier. So bear that in mind when you're doing colours, that you need very little of the darker colour. So I'm going to use this brush again. Okay? This isn't great, this is a great brush, but it's it's a wash brush, it's not really acrylic brush. So what we're going to do is the whole generation. So I'm going to start with... This is a good tool for anything. I'm going to start with just the yellow on its own. Right, so you can see that hopefully. Can you see it? Yeah, just the yellow on its own. 
and then what I'm going to go these are what they call your base tests and then I'm going to go with my magenta there okay so these are our base colors so that in between we've got to try and get as many as possible and it's really easy and you do this with all your colors and that's where all these wonderful names come from all these wonderful colors the amount of colors you get so I'll get my yellow get as much as I need there and I'm going to put a tiny bit and then a tiny bit more red and each time I get a bit more red I'm not mixing more yellow I'm just mixing a tiny bit more red in it tiny bit more and you can go on and on and on but can you see now how I've got that whole range of colours just from mixing that so and I could go on and on and on if I wanted on and on and on it, it, it's infinitum so let's see what about um, adding a little bit of let's do the blues underneath it shall we to get some greens so again a little bit see you had I, people used to think it was dead tight in school oh you need a t tiny bit but you really do only need a tiny bit of colour because what happens is we waste it unless you can put it in your book that's cool so put your base colours down your test this is your test colours so these are the colours that you know you've got to go from and to so there's your blue now I've got a little bit of water on my brush so that's why it looks runny believe you me it isn't that's because this brush is a watercolour brush so it's holding a lot of water in the ferrule so and you don't need that you take it off so yellow add a tiny bit and I'm adding a little bit more blue each time Right, a whole range of greens, and I could go on. I mean, that shows you that to get to that, I'd have to have no no yellow with it, and I haven't got enough room and no blue with that. But you can just see now how many blues you get. I mean, that does might come over like it's quite similar, and it isn't. It honestly, it isn't. So here's a colour page like that. Right, here's another way of doing it. I'm just going to take this out to let it dry, okay? Now, sometimes you you, you think, right, I, I want, oh, you bugger, I keep dipping that in there. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I keep dipping my fingers in. Right, this is a good little trick. And this is more, if you've got opaque paints, it's a little bit harder. So I'm just going to take the yellow and I'm just going to draw a line. A little bit of water on it just to, doesn't have to be perfect okay and then I'm going to a little bit of red and a little bit of the blue right so what's happening can you see move that over and you see, I'm getting what they call glazes or mixes there because I'm using a watercolour brush and I'm, I'm getting the, the mixes. So you can mix it on the paper as well. Um, so, see, it will mix to a point, but then... So what you're actually doing is, I'm going to show you here, I'm going to put the colour back over. Hopefully it'll, it'll make sense. So I need a little bit more yellow, a little bit more blue blue yellow and you need to let that dry because if you don't you're just going to pull the colors up but when you put more water with it 
when you put more water with it, it becomes more transparent. I don't know if that's perfectly dry, but hey ho, hey ho. Right, so now what I'm going to do, let's hope you can see this, I'm just going to lay colour over it. A little bit of red. A little bit of blue. Now what I'm doing is I'm just going to blend over the edges. And I really like this effect because it allows me to get like undertones and um, values and stuff that you don't normally see when you're watercolour mixing, uh, when you're acrylic mixing, because I'm using it as a watercolour blend. So this is a really nice little test for you to just try your colours. I mean, I'm running out of yellow again. See, yellow is one of those colours. I always buy two yellows. When I get a yellow I like, I buy two of them. And then I know I've got it. So that's another way of creating a blend, but different colours. So the next thing is, we've got basic colours. We know that the three colours, primaries, will make other colours, um, secondaries and tertiaries. Now the same is applies to watercolours so I'm going to add a little bit of the red a little bit of the blue now they will ha act differently because watercolours do and a little bit of the yellow now you can do the same thing with these but the nice thing about these is that they activate still on watercolour paper so you can still blend them in. Now, the way, reason I said about Marlene, it's not just because she's on, it's because her paints have such a great colour range in between that really, she won't mind me saying this, she's done the hard work for you. You don't have to mess about. She's done all of it. So, where the... Oh, my God. Stand it. I put stuff safe and I can't blooming find it. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, got in. Yes. Right. Let me show you what I mean. Sorry. Right, here's Marlene's colours. These are the bright and whimsy. Right, can you see? She's already got these ideas of the colours that you need. So all these colours uh, work beautifully. So you've got your orange and your red. See that? It's a beautiful colour to match with that. But your pink goes so well with your magentas. Then your blue-greens go so well to make these turquoises. So those colours are absolutely... She's got whimsy and bright and bold and bright. I don't know where my little card's gone. I don't know where that is. Oh, and that's cool. Look, my pencil case. I love that. I've only got one. I need more. I need more and bigger. Hint, hint. Anyway, so... What we need to look at now is families, okay? So, when we look at our family of colours, we've just done this one, yellow, blue, and red. But here's the tints that we were doing. So these here, all these here, are these. So all these, can you imagine? So we've got red, red, orange, Orange, yellow, orange, yellow. Right? So those, right, all work together in the warm colours. Right? And you can just see there, warm tones. And it tells you on there. Now the greens, because you've got a blue there and a yellow there, are the cool tones. So these all go that side. So then, it... it if you add a primary to these colours, can you see there's a yellow, a red and a blue. And it tells you, adding red to a certain colour on here, this is the colour you get. So let's say, adding red to that yellow green, I'm going to get that brown colour. Adding red to that green, I'm going to get that brown colour. Adding red to blue, I'm going to get that. So red violet can you see how this really helps you 
So by adding red, you're going to get to yellow, you're going to get that orange and blue. So this is so helpful. So helpful. We'll go to tones and tints later. So you can see this is absolutely invaluable. So this is all this. But my advice is do this first, get to know your paints. And then, then we come to families. Now this is where it's a bit it gets a bit confusing if you don't know. We come across harmonious colours, analogous colours. We've got triads and split complementaries. But basically, basically, you see here, if you pick that colour, which is violet, the triad colours, which means three. So that one there and there. If you pick that colour, that colour and that colour go with it. So purple, green and orange. So if I move that, to line up with red it says my other triad of colors would be blue and yellow which makes sense because it's a primary so that's your triads now you'll say you'll see here a split complementary complementary means clashing to me it doesn't but so if i've got a red my split comp complementaries are not directly over it the color directly is my complementary split complementaries means the color each side of that so your complementary color of orange opposite it would be blue okay but your split complement complementary would either side so it goes on and on and on like this then we've got something called your tetrad and your tetrad is your four way colors so it's that one, that one, that one, and that one. That's why I'm saying these are invaluable because this is all done. I can do this. I've been doing it for years. I taught it for 20 years, taught it well, longer than that. So I, I do understand where these come from. However, I can't do that in half an hour. So you're best off getting your paints, trying them, getting yourself a colour wheel. Harmonious colours, right? colour schemes that go together so um analogous are colors that are adjacent so next two so these are all analogous colors complementary opposites okay we've got split complementary is opposite and to each side triads three colors so on the wheel it would be that one that one and that one you could make your own color wheel if you wanted to um and a key colour that's really important is the predominant colour within that colour. So if I was to say that blue is the key colour, blue-violet is the key colour, can you see the predominant colour is the one that you've mixed at the top, right? So triads are three, tetrads are four, split complementaries and complementaries, analogous, harmonious and complementary and I call them clashing colours so these are what you get when you mix so if you use this the right way and I'm saying only use warm colours you don't have to so if I go to a warm colour put my little triangle there on my red okay right now my triad of colours so the two other colours that go with that would be blue and yellow because they are primaries. But my split complementaries would be red, blue-green and yellow-green. Right? My complementary colour of that would be green. So it would be blue, uh, red and green. Let's go to orange. So put my orange there. So look at my tri triad of colours. My triad would be violet and green with orange. My split complementary. Let's look at the complementary. The one opposite it, which is blue. So splitting that would be either side. So it would be orange, blue, violet and blue, green. It doesn't stop there. You can add other colours though. Your tetrad. There's te tetrad of orange. So let's go tetrad would be two warms and two colds so red and orange and then it would be blue and green 
So it would be the two opposite each other. Complementaries right opposite each other. Split complementaries either side. And your triad would be any three within a circle. Okay? So any three within a circle is a triad. So there's your three colours. So when I say stay warm... I'm saying stay on here. But once you start knowing about colours, that's when you can add your colour in. So if you get a colour wheel, you know that if I want orange, my complementary colour is blue, but my split complementary would be there. Now, if I wanted my triad, it'd be that one, that one, and that one. It work in a triangle, okay? If I wanted to add more red to my orange, that's what it'd look like. And you can see they're all split like that with the colours for you. Okay. And, th and that gives you a really good idea of how predominant blue is within them all. Can you see how it colours them all? So this is invaluable. And then this allows you to sort of look at the colours in between as well. You know, this added to this, but they look great together, don't they? This added to this. So you could add the two colours together. Again, here and here. Adding black and white. So adding black and white. Blue, green, adding white, you get that. Adding black, you get that. And then we come into values, which we're not going into. And that's just how warm or cold it is with it, with, with greys. So, colours. Let's go back to our colours. We've got primaries. Sorry. Primaries in Amsterdam. Primaries in Golden. We've got the scions and other doodars in Amsterdam and Dina is yellow and fuchsia and then the other golden one I've got is yellow da, 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 da. That. this is the other one for the other golden which is teal get off teal golden and that one and then there's a phalo and if you're not sure some t look at stay a minute just try this little trick of adding this but keep adding water and more and more colors and you see you get a whole i mean there's these other ones as well which i haven't shown you these are really cool you add these with them as well we've got lemon and night so you get totally different colors then and then these are the the rube instead of the fuchsia. Can you see how that's lighter? So think about what you want to do. Think about the colours. Think about how you're going to do them. I got these from out from the hat. Um, and they do sell Amsterdam as well. But I know Amelia's sell Amsterdam. Um, Amelia's crafts sell all the Amsterdam colours. Um, and most places. If I was to say what's my favourite, I think you all know. Golden is probably one of the top brands that you can get. And I'm, I'm, it's one of mine that I love. But I am not close to others. Um, I love them all. Some I like colours. Like I love some colours. I love some colours more in one than the other. So that's entirely. But I have, I have to say that if you go into any artist studio, predominantly you will see this. Or you will see um, Daniel. Lewis, is it? Yeah. Um, Holbein. You'll see Rembrandt colours. I mean, I've got these. These are fantastic, these. And these are funky colours by Marlene. The great colours, like Ginger Biscuit. Great, in it? Ginger Snap. Absolutely stunning colours. And, and a grey instead of black, which is absolutely brilliant. So, I hope that's helped. I'll move you back up. Oh, sorry about that. You just flicked off. Oh. Right, so I hope that helped. Um, I'm sort of firm believer that I can tell you till I'm blue in the face about colour theory. But really, you're the best person. You're the one that's going to have to try it because if you try it, you get lots of... Of different effects on the papers you use on on the actual book you're using the lighting even the lighting will change colors um, so you've got huge range of color I mean try having a go at the 
going over it and you'll get this lovely wash of colours. These are the marlines, you know, how beautiful they, what they come together. Um, so write down what, how you've done it and what you've mixed. Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt. And I hope you enjoyed that. I've um, got nothing really to say. I've not watched the news because it's annoying me. Everyone's having to sort of work from home and we all know that, but we've got getting that many bloody hugs and I'm fed up of them. Please don't send me any more. Please don't. I'll block, I am going to start blocking people. I'm getting, send this round to keep it going. Send this hook round. If you don't do this, you're going to die. It's like the chain letters. Do you remember them? Oh, for God's sake. If you don't send this within five days to 900 people, you're going to lose your leg. What's all that crap about? So please don't send me any. I'm very much in everyone, I'm thinking of everybody and how it's going. And we all deal with it in our own way. But I'm at that limit now. And self-preservation's having to kick in. Because I can't take on any more monkeys. It's not because I don't care. It's because of my own mental health that I need to do it. And you, you do it as well. You all need to do it. So don't cut away from anybody. It's not you feeling lost or you don't want to be. It's about your own self-preservation. Now, I love this as always. I'm going to do a little lesson tomorrow on a little... Oh, I look like Elizabeth the First. Um, I'm going to do a little demo using just bright colours tomorrow. Um, only a quick one. And then hopefully we'll... I'm just going to use stencils with that so we can build up a pattern, repeating pattern in background with stencils. And then I'll, I'll put the link on for how dye does it um, and, and Kate so you can go to them. And don't forget to look at the people who have mentioned who is Kate Crane um, for the Catherine Wheel, Dye Reevely, of course. Um, we've got the Tracy the Verdugo. We've got Katie Leach and the Mixed Up Creative Academy. And we've got, who else have we got to say? Who else did I say? Oh, um, Tamara Laporte Life Book. So there are all these classes are online. I'm going to talk to you tomorrow about Blueprint and Skillshare. There are another couple of people. But don't forget, we've got lots of people online who are giving free classes. And uh, there's people like me annoying the hell out of you. But that's what we're here for. I've got to go away and do some filming now. God, it looks like that's grey and that's red. Look at that. It looks like a wig. Um, and it's it's not. Anyway, I'm going to go away. Have a really safe day. Um, it's not over by a long run. And just, I'll see you here tomorrow at 12 o'clock for a quick sample. Uh, quick sample? I'm not doing any samples. I mean, a quick finger. Finger magic. And then... Bright colours, stencils, so tomorrow, a couple of tags, some fat foam or kitchen sponge, some bright funky colours and uh, stencils, Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt. And please, please, please don't forget to put your post in, we've got a few days left for inspirational women. There's hundreds of you out there, let's do it for them, you know. Right, and I will see you bright and early tomorrow at 12 o'clock. After Barbara, our Barbara, and then we've got someone else. I think Julia might be at 12, 11. Um, and then see you tomorrow. Bye!